The story of building infinite motivation or two. It's day six on the prep and we dropped down to 249 as of this morning, which is five pounds down from day zero. And today's diet includes a bit more than usual sweet goodness. Also, I was running out of days left before the bread got bad. So sweet Bombay toast it is. Now, I want you to think of motivation in the brain as a cost benefit model. And the factors that are going to strongly influence this model are going to be your psychological state, the environment around you and your personal history. We'll come back to these three. Remember them. So if the benefit of doing an act is higher than the cost, you're going to do it. Why do pro bodybuilders always have better consistency with their dieting and lifting compared to you? For him, the benefit is not just looking good, but his entire livelihood is dependent on it. His career, fame, money, food on the plate, it's all dependent on this benefit. And the cost is just self-control and holding back these mental cravings and pushing yourself in the gym, which is a tiny cost for the huge benefit. Easy job. So for you, if training and dieting is a hobby, then the benefit is just looking good. Nothing serious like a career is going to affect it if you lose that benefit. But the cost of self-control is going to look way bigger for you than it did for the bodybuilder. Now back to the points. Number one, if you're psychologically feeling great, the cost is going to look smaller. Number two, if you have an environment around you that's filled with healthy individuals, thoughts and actions, the cost is going to look even smaller. Choose your friends wisely. And number three, if you have a history of being trolled or put down for being out of shape, the cost is going to look minuscule. Once you understand this, you can shape your motivation any time of the day to build a desire and get the required action complete. Go get it.